Thank you for taking the time to learn about how to leverage automatically applied metadata in SharePoint and use it in a way that will enhance your records management and information rights management processes. My name is Juan Salaya, and we are experts in capture, search, and software integration to deliver a successful solution. This presentation is focused on the classification technology implementation in SharePoint of one of our technology partners, Concept Searching. During this video, we will cover the requirements for the initial setup and the role of taxonomies as part of the solution. We will show you how we can automatically populate document libraries, automate information management settings, and information rights management. And finally, how everything comes together using automatically applied metadata, Microsoft SharePoint, and the software concept classifier and content type updater from concept searching. In this solution, before you can start automatically tagging documents with metadata, you must set up rules and these rules are driven by taxonomies. These next few slides are from a publicly released briefing given at the U.S. Air Force in Germany. This is an example of a taxonomy the Air Force uses for safety investigations for when a plane goes down. This taxonomy was developed by a team that works with flight surgeons to investigate these incidents. On the left side, you find an aviation taxonomy built around aviation occurrences, human factors, and phases of flight. One of these categories is weather. The way the business rules work is that if any of these four terms which are created manually, such as icing, thunderstorms, turbulence encounters, and wind shear, are present in a document, the document will get a score associated with it. Then, if the score meets or exceeds the threshold set for the weather folder, the documents will be classified to the weather folder. And in SharePoint, it gets tagged with the term weather. So think of it this way. If the word weather does not exist anywhere in the document, but the terms icing, thunderstorm, turbulence encounters, and winters do exist, then we tag it as a weather document even though the word weather is not in the document. Now, in developing taxonomies, we don't have the luxury of bringing in multiple experts to determine what are all the terms related around weather. So we use the suggest clues option to have the taxonomy manager look at the original 236 documents that were classified to the weather folder using the four terms manually created and automatically suggest additional terms from our own content that are highly correlated to the concept of weather. At this point, a subject matter expert goes through and selects additional terms that make sense for the result of the business rule and we can add those to the list of terms. Now, instead of having the original four terms that are related to weather, I now have six additional terms which are highly correlated to the concept of weather in my organization, since these terms were selected from my own content. So how does this work in SharePoint? This SharePoint 2007 page shows a properties view of a newsletter from the FAA. This document was automatically tagged in SharePoint with these five different tags, human factors, wind shear or thunderstorm, turbulence encounters, weather, etc. But I want you to take a look at the tag turbulence encounter and let's investigate that particular tag further. I have opened the newsletter and I do a search for the term turbulence, but nothing shows up. So how does a document get tagged as a turbulence encounter document if the word turbulence is not even in the document? When you look at the turbulence encounter folder, you see that there are two additional terms that do not have the word turbulence wake vortex, and wind shear. So if I go back to the document and I do a search for wind shear, you find the term in the document and that is why this document got tagged with the word turbulence encounter even when that term was not in the document at all. So this is an example of automatically tagging a document with metadata or concepts even when that concept does not exist in the document. 
We now have an understanding of how the taxonomy manager works and how a taxonomy can be used as a business rule for tagging documents. But let's take this a step further and not just tag for semantics. Let's look at how we can do this to manage the inherent complexities of records management and information rights management. To help us manage the inherent complexities of records management and information rights management, CDI and concept searching have an easy to implement and scalable solution that facilitates the process from metadata tagging through content type application and the automatic migration of content to document libraries to ensure proper storage and preservation while also controlling both access and usage of organizational content. With this tool, we effectively can find, store, preserve, secure, and control data assets across distinct business and service delivery units. Let's take a look at how this solution ensures metadata tagging, consistency, and data transparency at every level, while promoting secure collaboration through time-saving automation of records management and information assurance activities. When accuracy and timeliness are critical, organizations need a solution that offers real-time data transparency, records declaration, and information security at all operational levels. In a typical scenario, when a single document or multiple files are loaded into SharePoint, Concept Classifier for SharePoint seamlessly initiates an automated process behind the scenes that streamlines information management and information rights management policy setting processes. Because the appropriate metadata environment in Taxonomy Manager is synchronized in real time to the SharePoint Term Store, Concept Classifier is able to instantly interrogate SharePoint content for non-preferred terms, associate those non-preferred terms with SharePoint metadata in the Term Store, and automatically apply semantic, records retention code, and data privacy and security metadata to the custom properties of every document in SharePoint. Once metadata has been applied, the content type updater interrogates SharePoint properties and identifies metadata to either drive the application of an appropriate content type or move the document to another library of an existing content type where additional metadata attributes can be applied. This combined time savings automatic application of metadata and content types enables organizations to manage settings for various categories of information in a centralized, reusable way. Because the entire metadata and content type application process is automated, all organizations are able to leverage inherent SharePoint capabilities to apply both information management and information rights management policy settings to each and every document across the enterprise. When a document is placed into a library with preset information management and information rights management policy settings, it automatically inherits settings that may include retention periods, audit, and the application of barcodes and labels. When organizations want to control how documents are used, they place them into document libraries with preset information rights management policy settings. IRM policy settings may include preventing a document from being both downloaded and accessed programmatically. It may also require end users to verify their credentials on a periodic basis. Applying information management and information rights management policy has traditionally been a manual process with the end user deciding what is a record, should this document be secure, and then manually placing the documents into the appropriate library. Let's take a look now at how this all ties together. Before uploading any content, we see that each document library is empty. Using SharePoint Document Upload Facility, we will upload 11 documents to a SharePoint library. The documents consist of both PDF and Microsoft Office files and contain no semantic, records retention code, or data privacy and security metadata. Upon upload, an event handler is triggered and Concept Classifier for SharePoint begins the process of applying metadata tags from the term store based on the presence of non-preferred terms, multi-word fragments, concepts, and regular expressions contained within the document. 
Once metadata tags have been applied, the Content Tab Updater interrogates SharePoint properties for documents with metadata that require either a change of content type or a move to a library of another content type where additional metadata can be automatically applied. In our original upload library, we now only have two documents. Both of these documents are Railway Accident Board documents and have been automatically tagged with metadata from the term store. The content type has also been changed from the default content type of document to NTSB report. And for the official use only library, we have two documents that were obtained from WikiLeaks in the spring of 2009. These documents contain sensitive information, were tagged with metadata indicating that they contain sensitive information, and were automatically migrated to the FOUO document library where access is automatically provided to authorized end users and information rights management controls are automatically applied. In the records documents library, we see four documents that were automatically placed here based on non-preferred terms and concepts that were aligned to records retention codes. In addition to semantic metadata, Concept Classifier for SharePoint has placed actual retention code metadata into SharePoint properties. Documents containing personally identifiable information were tagged and moved to the Human Resource Library, and documents containing information related to avionics and sensors were automatically moved to the International Trafficking in Arms Library. As we have demonstrated, SharePoint 2010 and Concept Classifier for SharePoint work together to provide organizations with a cost-effective and standardized method to comply with records management and information assurance guidelines. Together, they promote consistency and improve efficiency at every level of the organization, enforcing best practices around records management and information assurance while allowing document visibility and collaboration through the process. If implementing SharePoint 2010 is the door an organization must pass through to establish agile and effective practices that will enhance your organization's ability to anticipate, manage, and respond to changing operational requirements, then deploying Concept Classifier for SharePoint is the key that enables organizations to leverage metadata and content types to deliver a faster and more effective process for storing, preserving, and securing information. If you would like to learn more about how to automatically classify your documents and automatically tag them with metadata using Concept Classifier, please contact us at the phone numbers and email address shown. We will be happy to help you leverage automatically applied metadata to enhance your records management and information management processes.